Hello, creators and AI explorers. Welcome back to the Code Rash with Gaurav, where we decode the hottest movements in artificial intelligence. So you can stay ahead, whether you're coding, scaling startups or just geeking out. Today's deep dive is all about LLMs, RAG and AI agents, what makes them special, why they're everywhere and especially the future defining potential of AI agents. I've seen many folks often getting confused around the difference between large language models, RAG-based applications, and AI agents. Let's deep dive into the difference between all of them. We've all heard the buzzwords LLMs, RAG, AI agents. They're everywhere. But what's the real difference? And more importantly, why should you care? In today's video, I'll break down these three pillars of modern AI how they work, how they're different, and where they're headed. By the end, you'll know why ChatGPT isn't the same thing as an AI agent and why adding RAG can make your AI 10x smarter. Let's dive in. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right away. First, LLM stands for Large Language Model. It's a type of AI trained on massive amounts of text to predict the next word in a sentence. Think of it like the autocomplete on your phone, but trained on the internet, books, articles, and code at a mind-blowing scale. The magic? It doesn't just spit out facts. It generates coherent, human-like language. But here's the catch. LLMs don't know things in real time. They rely on what they've been trained on, which is frozen at the time of training. If you ask it about a news article from five minutes ago, it won't know unless we give it that info, somehow. Enter RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Sounds fancy, but here's the simple idea. Instead of asking the AI to rely only on its memory, we give it the latest, most relevant information before it answers. It works in two steps. Retrieval, pull relevant chunks of information from a knowledge source, could be a database, documents, or even the web. Augmented generation. Feed that information into the LLM so it can answer using up-to-date, accurate facts. Imagine you have a personal assistant who's super smart but hasn't read today's news. RAG is like handing them the news article before they answer your question. Now they can be both smart and current. Let us do a quick recap. The knowledge base in a purely LLM-based application is static and it is limited to the training data. While in RAG-based application, the knowledge base is dynamic, and its updates are limited to how often the external sources are updated with new knowledge. LLMs can hallucinate, while RAG-based application are more grounded to the connected knowledge base. LLMs are usually general, unless fine-tuned to a specific domain, while RAG applications are domain-specific. Now, here's where things get exciting, Enter AI agents. If LLMs are the brain and RAG is the memory library, AI agents are. Well, the whole employee. An AI agent isn't just answering questions. It's taking actions. It can decide what tools to use, when to use them, and in what order to achieve a goal. Here's how an AI agent works under the hood. Perception. It receives input, usually text, but could also be voice or vision. Reasoning, it plans what steps are needed to reach the goal. Action, it uses tools, could be APIs, databases, spreadsheets, to execute those steps. Feedback loop, it evaluates results and decides what to do next. This makes AI agents more autonomous than a simple chatbot. Let's see some use cases of AI agents. Booking your flight after comparing prices online. Managing your calendar and rescheduling meetings automatically. Writing, testing, and deploying code without human intervention. Customer support bots that actually resolve your issue by interacting with systems. Here's the easiest way to remember it. LLM, the smart brain that understands and generates language. RAG, that brain with instant access to a huge library of up-to-date info. AI agent, that same brain and library, 
but now with arms, legs, and the ability to go get things done in the real world. Let us take a deep dive into the differences between LLM, RAG, and AI agent and visualize what we just spoke about. An LLM takes a prompt as an input and generates a response based on its brain, which is the training data. Thus, the knowledge of an LLM is limited to its training data. Let us look at how RAG brings in dynamic knowledge base into the LLM. A RAG-based application also uses an LLM in its core, but the LLM is fed with an external data source. The source of data could be PDFs, databases, or even the internet. This enables LLMs to have a reliable data source and combine it with the training knowledge to generate a better and relevant response. So a RAG-based application uses its brain and a library to generate responses. Let's look at where things get interesting, AI agents. AI agents also take prompts as an input, but these are usually instructions or goals to be achieved. For example, book the cheapest flight ticket between two cities. An AI agent along with having a RAG or non-RAG powered LLM also has access to tools and a decision-making ability when to call these tools. A tool could be simply the access to the internet or invoking a specialized API that performs certain action. The example which we just discussed where an AI agent can book a flight must have a tool to get flight details from different airlines operating between the two cities and when it has the data, a reasoning model can be used to determine the best and cheapest flight. Not only an agent provides information, but it can also perform an action based on the data. Booking a ticket in our example. So there should be another tool for making a booking our agent should have access to. Having access to the tools and the autonomicity of invoking the tools is what makes an AI agent special and is something that is buzzing and is trending. I have made specific videos about LLM and RAG and a code session on implementing RAG. Do watch them as well. I will be adding the links to these videos in the description. I will be creating a video dedicated on AI agents covering the components of AI agents, the architecture and also code session in which we will create an agent together. So subscribe if haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Till then have a good one. Hello all, my name is Gaurav. In most of my videos you have been seeing AI voiceovers but here I am talking to you directly with a special message. First of all, thanks a lot for the kind of engagement this AI learning series has been getting which shows that people are liking those videos, enjoying the content because the watch time is increasing. I just have one request on top of it. If you are enjoying this series, learning something new, do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. This will help me take the channel to the next level and it will keep me motivated. Keep watching the videos, keep learning. I'll see you in the next one.